So welcome to the studio of Phil Cleaver. He's a professor of the creative arts at Middlesex University, and he also runs his own design agency. And importantly for us, he was very heavily involved in the production of this, which is the legendary McAllen Peter Blake decade set. So first of all, thank you very much for giving us your My time pleasure. today. And, you know, first of all, can you explain how you became involved in this project and how did this project evolve with McAllen and, and who was involved in it? So um, David Holmes, who helped build the whole McCallum brand, was approached to work out a way of packaging the different periods of malt uh, for the 30s, 40s, etc. So it was eight, uh, up to the noughties. Um, and when he first discussed with me was, could I get involved to help design a book which would link um, the story together in some way? And when we were talking about it, David said, um, it's Peter Blake's, it's 80 years of malt. And we kept thinking 80's got to give us something. And of course, David said, well, it's Peter Blake's 80th birthday this year. So it coincided with his, eight, his actual 80th and doing these, well... It was it, like a match made in heaven then. Yeah, so we, that was, then David Holmes approached uh, Peter to see if he would do the labels. Yeah, and P Peter Blake already had a, uh, an existing relationship with McAllen from the... From through the, David Holmes. Yeah, and through that 1926 yeah. bottling, the 60-year-old. And then, so you were involved in sort of like the, the production and the design of this then, and I think the, the book is like your child, isn't it, really? Yes, in this? The, book, the book was, the, for me, the, part of the, bit, the big fun because of um, how do you combine both McAllen uh, and Peter Blake. And that's, so this, this, so whereas the links here are sort of implied, the book makes it sort of like, you know, it's, it's very, the, the, the conjuncture sort of, the, like the joining here between sort of like pictures of McAllen from the 1920s through to sort of like Peter Blake's studio. And then there's images of Peter Blake growing up as well in here, isn't there, I think? And yeah, it's, the hist it's sort of, the whole point was there's lots of books on Peter Blake. And the, the thing with this was we, Peter Blake allowed me to cut, crop and take pictures with Stuart in his, in his studio. So it became quite an intimate picture of, of Peter. And it's also quite an intimate thing with something this small. Yeah. And putting all the elements together. So, so one question that I've been burning to ask about this is sort of like, what do you see it? Because I, I see this as a work of art. And if you look at your works of art, you know, these the, the sort of like mementos or I don't trinkets is a bit of a give a you know, throwaway word, but it's it, to me, this is an art installation. It's not just a box containing whiskey every and this is what I love about this set. Everything is sort of considered. So did you ever sort of see it as just a box? Because the, the, well, first no, we, it's for, from David and I's point of view, when we first discussed it, it was just like how, how we do the box and then we just have amazing fun of getting across the McCallan and the malt and the period of each each bottle. So for like the noughties, which was the first, was a pun on the computer and the mouse. So the mouse you used to work the computer, that was a pun on that. And we came up with different ideas. And I've, Tom Thumb was Peter Blake's favorite thing in his studio. So with that, we got, um, we had to, I didn't, um, we had to find 260 miniature um, bottles. Yeah. yeah. So Stuart Newman, who had to then populate everything and get it to work. And this matchbox, if you open it, because I, if you're nosy, you might as well get candy. <laughs> so that's where that comes from. The original, that that's actually comes from this matchbox, um, which is the original, which has actually still got the uh, amazing windproof matches in. So, it, so this is more of like a... You know, because the whiskey here, so the whiskey obviously, it's it's from from eight decades. It spans the thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, all the way up to the two thousands. And this these whiskies are from the the Macallan Fine and Rare Miniature Series. But they're all the whiskey in this is to me is almost sort of like it's secondary because it's the way that it relates with all the artifacts in here. So, should we? I mean, you know, if, we, I mean like the book. What's interesting is the. This was originally Sergeant Pepper. The idea was Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and it's actually a reduction, pure reduction of the of forty um, his original LP. It's got Peter Blake's um, original McCannon label of, of a centerpiece, and we even went to the extent of actually making this look like an LP. And this contains all the captions 
which tell you what is in the book. So, so then as a start then, should we sort of like go through the book that yeah. you produced to go with it and then we'll start looking through all the artifacts? Oops. And, then, uh, and then you also get in here uh, what you got in the original part, part, Peter Blake. In the original LP. Yeah, and then this is because we weren't allowed to use the original LP and Toby Holmes, um, David's son, took some of Peter Blake's pictures and made a new LP cover. But that's so you know it's from the Sergeant Yes, yeah. because obviously if, you, if you're not familiar who, with who Peter Blake is, he was the preeminent sort of British pop artist of the 1960s onwards and probably most famously for, for, for sort of like normal viewers would be Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, the, the, the album cover for that. But it's he's still a, a powerhouse in art and design today, isn't he? So it's, He's still, yeah, very much so. And that, the old, that DVD actually contains a video about the making of the box. It contains a video about McCallan and a video uh, about Peter Blake. So to start with then, should we start looking through the, the book yeah. that you sort of produced then that went with this? And this is... I think importantly, like it's 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 a work of art in its own right, isn't it? Well, it had to, it had to meld meld Peter Blake and and the malt together, so you could actually get the two. When I did the cover originally, I sent it up to the client, and he sent it, phoned up Phil and said, "It says 70. he's eighty. I went, "Oh God, yeah, I had to put another X on." <laughs> Masses. So basically, Peter didn't want. Um, wouldn't allow any photographers to go around his studio. So Stuart, no Stuart Newman, and I went round his studio taking pictures, and it's a, really like a pun on everything. That's how we got the name. He signed each one of the boxes, and then this is Peter Bake when he was a kid. And then the book mixes things like this imagery of of the mole with pictures of him, his life story, and then there's pictures of his downpipes. Um, in, his, in his toilet, so it's a complete mix, and then there's sort of visual puns with the book, where everything is cropped. So this is Peter and his wife, and then that, I found that in the studio, which is Peter <laughs> and his wife. But it's not, it's actually Judy Garland, but anyway. And each decade has a different picture. So here we've got a historic picture of McAllen at the distillery. And then that's mixed with this, which is what was photographed in his studio. Yeah. So it's a mixture. And as you go through, the, we're mixing the photography of McAllen with the pictures of Peter Blake. So it's a celebration. It's like a, a joint celebration yeah. of eight decades of McAllen as well as eight decades of Peter Blake. And it's... And it's also quite amazing things like the McCallan, um, not McCallan, Peter Blake, that's an unfinished picture. And this sculptor is actually the downpipe on his toilet, you know. So he let us do, let me do anything I thought was relevant. And it's, it's full of um, visual clues and bits of cropped up photography uh, from his actual artworks. And that's that's interesting because Peter Blake does a lot of collage work himself, and like you say, like the book is almost like a collage. And I think again, like the set itself is is very eclectic and collage like. To me, it, like, it looks a bit like a cabinet of curiosities because yes. there's there's almost like oh, there's oh like yeah. a, so when I I was with the writer Hugh up in um, at McCallum Factory, and this barrel rolled past and I started chasing the barrel and the client asked the writer, he said, where, where the hell's Cleaver going now? Well, the barrel actually looks like a Peter Blake. Um, so, so bits of things were, were put into, I think it was McClellan's stock book or one of the minutes from meetings in here as well, which we can find at a later date. And I think that's what's, what's interesting about this is that it's a real crossover between whiskey and design isn't it it's yeah it's a it's a cross between art and it's like having a photograph of one of the workers with one of the things in peter's studio and it i mean near the end i was said he said why is there 10 10 people credited i said well it's because you only had 10 on the bottle of on the barrel of whiskey <laughs> it's a very stupid question sometimes and i think as well like because you can look at this as being expensive you know this is like a, a five figure you know 30 odd thousand pound set of whiskey and it contains almost no whiskey these miniatures are 50 milliliters each so you're looking at what 100 200 300 400 mil of whiskey here for for 30 odd thousand pounds but that's that's almost missing the point because y you know 
this is a Peter Blake artwork. This is a Peter Blake original that's signed. It's it's a collage. It's everything that that you know, and it's that juxtaposition of of them as well. And you know, Peter Blake to a lot of our modern viewers now won't remember him from doing the the nineteen eighties, nineteen twenty six, sixty year old bottling. You know, the label for that, which is now legendary, sort of like nearly a million pounds worth of whiskey. They'll remember him from the anecdotes of ages, which is when he recently last year I think it was went up to to do a, a stay at the McAllen produced a whole series of collages for the new labels and then the McAllen oddly enough did another bottling release that celebrated his visit to the distillery to make this so Peter Blake's association with McAllen has sort of been going for what 30 40 years and to he me, was introduced to McAllen by David Holmes was it David Holmes that oh, yeah, David yeah. Holmes introduced everyone and produced all I mean he, he was the one that commissioned um, Peter to do that label. Yes, yes. So this is the nineteen twenty. This is the label for the nineteen twenty six sixty year old that's held the record in various guises over the years. And it's like I said, I think Bonham's held the record for this particular bottle, just under a million pounds. And it's you know Valerio Adami was commissioned just later, Michael Dillon, and then obviously in the fine and rare nineteen twenty six selection as well. Uh, this is, yeah. So it's it's. To me, it's just really sort of fascinating, and it's. Can you sort of talk us through what so, these? So part part of the whole point of this was when when we, knowing that Peter was doing the labels, I suppose we just got carried away with actually taking Peter's work, and making an installation of Peter's work with it, and the inspiration of having gone around his studio, which is like, is so visually, it's just visually full of everything. Um, gave us the idea, it gave, obviously led to the idea of putting things in which were to do with fire, uh, water and air, which is how you actually make the malt. I mean, in that book, there's this, that's actually the cast book from McCallum, but it looks like a Peter Blake, it could quite easily yeah, be yeah. a Peter Blake. So it's this mixture of the two, the great artist, and also things, um, things he actually did. And this um, is actually tin, and it's made from the same people that did Babe Rainbow, which is one of Peter's very famous um, yeah. limited editions. And so it's it's all tin. Um, the, there's only 260 of them, to my knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was when it first sold, it was only it's never to do with the art at all. It was completely priced on the cost of the, the malt in it. Of the whiskey. And I think in years to come, this is going to be seen, there's a real crossover interest here with the art market that probably don't really know too much about this. And I think you know for for investment purposes this is sort of like it's a peter blake installation as much as a set of incredible mccallan whiskies and you just said something that was really fascinating that the, that the elements in here represent air water and fire and that's what you need to make the malt to make the malt so obviously you've got your fire bucket here oh yeah and then you've got you've got fishing so yeah you've yeah. got the fish you've got to have good water yeah, yeah. and obviously up in the, up the highlands you get the salmon yeah uh, of course, we did obviously like, you know, someone who actually does the fishing. Um, there's a medal, because it wins medals. There's a we had to, halfpenny. Yeah. The trouble is Stuart had to then find 260 halfpenny. So Stuart was the... Stuart was the one that populated all the boxes. He had to come up... We came up with ideas which were impossible to produce or find 260 of them. So he came up with even more ideas. So... I mean, David Holmes' his favourite thing in the world. Guess what it is? Go on, no, no. Dragonfly. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. That's why it's there. So it's so that's a that's like that's like a piece of David Holmes. Yeah, it's like, David. That's there because David Holmes loves loves yeah. dragon dragonfly. And I think you're the one for oh, Stuart's mispleasure on. Yes, yeah. I, I I'm very good with chopsticks. So I actually took a picture. I'd found a, a, a painting which I thought was Peter Blake's, but it turned out to be something he bought when he was an art student. So I took that, and I've always liked boats in bottles. So this was my take on a boat in a bottle. And I rolled it up with chopsticks, but poor Stuart had to actually do 260 of them. And this is the thing, it's like, where do you find 260 miniature fire buckets? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need Stuart. Yeah. And this is, this, is, this is what's really, you know, we'll put, at the end of this, we'll, we'll put a list or we'll put a link down below somewhere with a, with a meaning and sort of like the attributes that all of these sort of uh, pieces have. And also, I mean, with the, with the box... Um, when it's sold, you could also, um, each box would come with um, with this piece here separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you were obviously involved in the very heavily involved in the production of the book, but then here we've got a shot of the whole team pretty much that was involved in the production of this set. Then yeah, that's everyone who's involved in production of the box. We've got from the box maker to Hugh who wrote uh, who wrote the text to Toby Holmes who worked very closely on the production of everything to David Holmes to Stuart uh, Stuart who worked on all the feeding and putting everything in. He put in. all the ships in the bottles. He put all the ships <laughs> in the bottles and my good self. So that's the full team. So you can just see what, a, what an amazing lineup of creative people went into the production of this then. And the box is superbly made. It was a piece of carpentry. The actual bo book that comes out of here was entered into the British Book and Design Awards um, and it won the Best Digital Book of the Year Award in 2012. So not only did the... The, the, the set go down really incredibly well, but the book itself was the best booking, the best digital book in England. And it's, co it's actually covered in um, handmade Japanese paper. And again, that's testimony to sort of like to more sort of proof that this is a work of art rather than just being, you know, eight bottles of whiskey. Correct. By the way, throughout the whole job, the one word we're not allowed to use. What was that? Whiskey. Really? Correct. Every time you're not allowed ever to mention the word whiskey with Macau. It's the malt. It's the malt. And that's, that's David the Holmes. branding. You're yeah. not allowed to ever say it's whiskey. It's Macallan. It's malt. Macallan, I'm sorry to correct you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not. So thanks for taking the time to sort of go go through, you know, and talk us through your experience of, of, of producing this box because so often we just see these as something cold, it's just an object, but it's the stories behind them. And, and to me, the most fascinating part is that this, this started off with McAllen's idea of eight decades of whiskey, that then David Holmes brought in Peter Blake and joined those two ideas together and then worked with yourself and Stuart and... David Holmes' son, Toby, was very heavily involved in it as well. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time. And, and if you're watching this, we've got some more content coming out in the next couple of days that you really have to keep your eyes peeled because we've got something really special that's going to be coming available.